you have been known to, on a, a rare occasion, play drunk. Is there a mathematical formula for sort of on the x-axis, how many drinks you had, and on the y-axis, your performance slash creativity? Is there like an optimal for, like uh, one of the, th would you suggest for the FIDE World Championship that people would be required to drink? Would that change things in, in interesting <laughs> ways? Yeah, not at all. Um, maybe for Rapid, but for, for Blitz, I think if you're playing Blitz, you're mostly playing on, on short calculation and intuition. And I think those are probably enhanced if you've had a little bit of, little bit to drink. Can you uh, explain the, uh, the physiology of why that's why it's enhanced or the you're just you're thinking less you're more confident oh yeah it's i think <laughs> it's i think confident. it's just confidence i think also like a lot of people feel like they're better at speaking languages for instance if they've drunk a little bit it's just like removing these barriers yeah i think that it's it's a little bit of the same in in chess in 2012, I played the World Bliss Championship, and mm -hmm. then I, I was doing horribly for for a long time. I also had food poisoning there. <laughs> I couldn't play at all for for three days. So there, before the last break, I was like in the middle of the pack, like in I don't know twentieth place or something. And so I decided, like as the last last gasp, I'm going to go to the mini bar and just have a few drinks. And um, what happened is that I came back and I was suddenly relaxed. Hmm. Uh, and I was playing fast and I was playing confident. And I thought I was playing so well. I wasn't playing nearly as well as I thought, but it still helped me. Like I won my remaining eight games. And if there had been one more round, I probably would have won the whole thing. But finally I was, I was second. So generally I wouldn't recommend that, <laughs> but maybe as a last resort sometimes, like if yeah. you feel that you have the ability, like obviously none of this is remotely relevant if you don't feel like you have the ability to begin with. But if, yeah. you, like, if you feel like you have the ability, there are just factors that make it impossible for you to, um, to show it, like numbing your mind a bit, can probably be a good thing. Yeah, well, it's interesting, especially during training, you have all kinds of sports that have interacted with a lot of athletes in grappling sports. It's different when you train under extreme exhaustion. For example, you start becoming, you start to discover interesting things. You start being more creative. Yeah. A lot of people, uh, in at least in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, they'll they'll smoke weed. You know, it does, it creates this kind of anxiety and relaxation that kind of, uh, enables that creative aspect. It's interesting for training. Of course, you can't rely on any one of those things too much, but it, it's cool to throw in like a few drinks every once in a while to, uh, yeah, one, first of all, to relax and have fun, and two, to kind of try things differently, to unlock a different part of your brain. 